Oh. <laughs> I told you. You son of a You're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. You're going to love every the visuals, the song. Oh it's so my good. god. So guys, today's video, I hope you're recording right now. Yes, I am. Today's video <laughs> is guilty pleasures. And if you have tuned into our streams, you guys have unfortunately come across my, my guilty pleasure show, um, but the song is also super catchy. So today we're doing guilty pleasure anime openings, endings that we kind of, it's those songs that you listen to with the windows rolled up in the car. You don't roll them down. Yeah. You're like sitting next to people. You're trying really hard, like not to jam out to something that's honestly ridiculous. So these are the anime uh, intros and outros that we're kind of embarrassed to tell people we listen to. Like if you give someone your, you know, phone, you don't want them to see that it's on there or you don't want them to click on it and go, Ooh, what's that? Or you'll be like really embarrassed. So these are our guilty pleasures. Um, <clears throat> All right, guys, welcome to another music battle to the Thunderdome of instruments to Ongaku Duel. Uh, today's, um, uh, this, you know it, this is the show where we select a genre or a theme and we bring anime music into the fold as contenders. We will, as musicians, analyze it, dissect it, and rip it apart and decide which one is superior based on the four categories. We have complexity, originality, catchiness, and playlist worthy. So, today's, uh, theme... It's exactly that. The guilty pleasure. The guilty pleasure. So we're going to start with <laughs> with Miss Christina's uh, <laughs> guilty pleasure. <laughs> uh, great. I just can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait for you to see this. <laughs> I've never seen the show or heard this song in my life. Uh, this is the opening for How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift? What the Onegai f Muscle. Look, if you know the song, you cannot deny that it is so catchy. All right, let's 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 see. Let's uh let's let's go with this. All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Gets booty points right off the bat. <laughs> uh, let's go from the music, beginning. Ivan, not visuals. Music. Oh yeah, music. Uh, the fact that it goes on a guy muscle, <laughs> like <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Super catchy. Paused at the best moment. <laughs> oh my what god! What the fuck is this shit? Look at that art right there. <laughs> yeah, you clearly watched this for the plot. Can you hear past the art? <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear past the? Uh, mm. Now I I did notice um, there were there were some male vocals like in the in the background, but not harmonizing. More like more like for the fun Coaching. of it. Coaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with this song. It's a uh, it's very diverse. Honestly, I was not expecting the little kind of rap thing that they had going on, and the mm -hmm. fact that the guy is like coaching them or like telling like yeah keep going. It's like uh it 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 adds to the playfulness of the song. Uh, obviously, I don't think he would win American Idol with that with those vocals, but. <laughs> Uh, no. but it's, it plays with the song and I, I, I have to give points for that. Yeah. If you listen closely, there's some English in there. So you'll see. Okay. The bass is going crazy in this one. <laughs> oh. 
I, I feel personally attacked with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, in interesting. Like it, it does have a lot of dynamics to it. It's a, it's, it's not just one a rhythm. It, it's changing back and forth. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. Nice. <laughs> He's singing it already. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Wow, I was not expecting that. I was <laughs> by no means was I expecting this thing. And y'all have been making fun of me and see, see. I was still gonna make fun of you, but <laughs> I mean, it's it's interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting. Okay, got it. Uh, this okay. Hold on. Uh, this is gonna take a minute because it does change a lot. the The song has a lot of variety to it. Variety, I mean, um, and it goes from one genre to another. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely funky, definitely catchy, definitely interesting. Okay. Um... It's my guilty, guilty pleasure. The first time my husband heard me sing this in the car, he's like, you know the words. I was like, no, oh, well, I can't do the rap now. I cannot do the rap. But that, that chorus is something else. Okay. Definitely makes me want to go work out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this one personally attacks you, not gonna lie. If this doesn't go on your gym playlist, you just... Yeah, I don't know what... You're not a real anime fan. You're not a real anime fan if this is not after, like, the opening to Dragon Ball Z, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, th this has been very interesting, not gonna lie. Um, the, the way they're switching... The way they're going back and forth, and the fact that they have the guy playing off with with his vocals as a coach, and it's just like it's upbeat. Um, then we have the chorus being the intro of the song, so whenever they retake the chorus, it's like bringing you back into the fold. Mm. That was that was that was a nice detail. I uh, I definitely enjoyed that. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have my score, motherfucker. Okay, I'm, I'm. I'm good. <laughs> All right, now. Oh, I knew that would be fun for you. Now it's, uh, it's my turn to bring my guilty pleasure into the fold. To, to bring my. Yes, whatever, whatever you call it. Okay, so for my guilty pleasure, I'm bringing the opening of Tokyo Mew Mew. <laughs> We are looking at Tokyo Mew Mew's opening. I know nothing. So let's dive into Ivan's guilty pleasure. Let's go. Upbeat, okay. Oldie, oldie. <laughs> yeah, very old. <laughs> Okay, so we got the little high pitched anime voice going on. Okay. I'm just picturing Ivan driving around in the car with his shades on, <laughs> listening to this. Just picture that. That's going to make this <laughs> even better. Uh, that actually happens. <laughs> Okay, strings. I hear yeah. some strings. You sucker. You knew. You knew I'd like that. <laughs> Ivan's cheating. He's che technically I cheat every time because there's drums and like everything. Yeah. He knew there were going to be strings in this oldie. Did you? Okay. Oh, it's showtime. It's showtime. Okay. We it's... love some English. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, it's catchy already. <laughs> I like that chorus. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking it. <laughs> okay, Super okay. catchy. Okay. Catchy for sure. I mean, undeniably, I could not hide it. it the <laughs> chorus is definitely catchy. Um, <clears throat> originality, I'm going to say, is pretty low, though. Um, I feel like it's like every 80s or like 90s anime opening. Very just like you can tell the era it's from. And it follows a pretty predictable formula. But I will say as far as complexity, it had strings. I'm definitely giving bonus points for that. You know, when you have, when you bring in any other type of instrument that is not just your guitar, drums, keys, you know, or in voice, I'm thrilled. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the complexity of the voice wasn't a whole lot um the complexity in general of the layout of the song wasn't a lot but the strings do to me make it more exciting mm -hmm. um so i really like that i think i think i have my score let me see i can't do math in my head so here we go let me oh is it playlist worthy yeah that's the question hmm for me, this one's actually going to be a no. This one's not playlist worthy for me. I think for me, it would have needed the musical transformation somewhere. It would have needed to, you know, have some musical variation between the chorus and the verse. And to me, it just stayed pretty one note the whole time. But I could definitely see why this is a guilty pleasure. Because I, I can imagine if I watch the show, it may be on my playlist. But for me, just hearing it, can't put it on there personally, but I can see how for nostalgia reasons, people would definitely have this on their playlist. Um, so let's total up this score here. Okay, that seems about right. Okay. All right, I've got my score all totaled up. Okay, okay. You ready? So, yes. Mm -hmm. So, in today's theme of guilty pleasures, uh, your you brought your clearly for the plot anime. Yes. How, uh, how only. How, how how much muscle can you show, or whatever it's called? How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? <laughs> uh, now, for I bring my my rating again. So for complexity, because the song started with the chorus. And it just morphed into different genres. Uh, definitely had to give it a 8.5 for complexity. Uh, for originality, again, because the fact that it started with the chorus, uh, it had the balls to play off with the song, giving it the theme. Like the theme is the gym, the workout, and you had the coach backing, uh, backing you up and everything. Uh, 8.7 for originality uh definitely catchiness 8.72 it had a lot of things right when I, was, I i thought i knew it was going to go somewhere it did not go that way so i have to give it a the, the catchiness points 100 percent uh playlist worthy now this is a big one usually the playlist worthy when whenever you say yes it's because you know you are uh, you, you're willing to listen to it a lot. Now, the case for me is that I would not add it to my playlist normally, but I would add it to my gym playlist. Oh, interesting. You see? So it is playlist worthy, but not like for all types of playlists per se. Yes. But still, it is a yes regardless. So my stupid score for your stupid anime it's a 9.1. Oh my god, it's so high. I actually wasn't expecting it to be that high. <laughs> yeah, I I I ha I have I have to give it to it and uh for 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 the theme again, our scores for from song to song, like if you watch the uh 
all other other music battles that we've done uh the score might be higher than other songs we're not saying that those songs are inferior to this one we're just saying for the theme of it for what yes. we're doing here for this specific <clears throat> theme this is the score now your your turn okay so for tokyo mew mew originality uh for me it was pretty predictable as far as like that genre goes mm -hmm. so i actually gave it a six and a half there was Ooh. nothing special nothing special that i kind of didn't see coming okay okay complexity gets a seven it was gonna get a lower score but the strings brought it up okay, so it okay, does okay, get okay, a seven okay. for complexity okay catchiness gets an eight um it was catchy but not like the catchiest thing i've ever heard if it was something that like really really struck me it would have definitely been nine or ten but it definitely gets eight for for catchiness because okay. i could see if after a few lessons i would know that chorus okay, okay okay playlist worthy for me it's gonna be a no and i think that's because it's not super complex and it's not super original so for me the score came out too 7.2 yeah uh clearly we have a winner by almost two whole points yes. um how heavy are the dumbbells you lift i didn't think i'd win <laughs> honestly because it's so weird it's such a weird song do you see now why i would totally have the windows rolled up shades on and just trying not to dance or yeah. like ah, ah, uh, ooh, ha, like you just can't. It's yeah, I a hundred percent agree. A hundred percent agree. Definitely, very very interesting choice. Not gonna lie. So, well, thanks, guys. It's your turn to let us know in the comments which one do you think it was superior, which one do you think it was the winner. Let us know in the comments. Also, what other uh, genres or themes you want us to uh, mm -hmm. to to bring into the uh, into the ring. Uh, or what songs you would like to pair us uh, to to pair together to go against each other? Uh, yeah, well, and let us know what your guilty pleasures are. I want to know what the chat says because I've got a <laughs> few more up my sleeve. Mm -hmm. We could totally do a part two to this, but I want to know what the chat's guilty pleasures are. What are you embarrassed to listen to? You kind of hide it from your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe and all that shit. All right. Well, that's it. Bye. Bye.